What's up guys, Ali here, and I've got something pretty insane to show you today. It's all about how plants are basically living solar panels. You know how we're always talking about renewable energy and solar tech? Well, nature's been doing this for billions of years, and it's called photosynthesis. It's like the ultimate green energy hack. Today we're going to break down this process step by step, and trust me, it's way cooler than you might think. We're talking about a biological process that's so efficient, it makes our best solar panels look like they're running Windows Vista. Alright, so let's start with the light-dependent reactions, or what I like to call the light show. This is where plants capture sunlight and turn it into usable energy, and it's pretty wild. Inside plant cells, there are these tiny structures called chloroplasts. Think of them as the plant's power plants. They've got these membranes called thylakoids, which are packed with chlorophyll. That's the stuff that makes plants green. Now, when sunlight hits chlorophyll, it gets the electrons all excited, kind of like how your favorite song pumps you up. These hyped up electrons then go on this crazy journey through what's called the electron transport chain. It's like a molecular roller coaster, and as they zoom along, they're helping to create a proton gradient. Meanwhile, water molecules are getting split apart, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. Yeah, that's right. Plants are literally splitting water molecules. How insane is that? Now that we've got all this energy stored up, it's time for the plant to use it. This is where the light-independent reactions come in, also known as the Calvin cycle. I like to call this part the chemical factory because it's where the plant starts building its own food. This all goes down in the stroma of the chloroplast, which is basically like the chloroplast's workshop. CO2 enters the cycle and gets attached to this sugar called RuBP. This is done by an enzyme called Rubisco, which, fun fact, is probably the most abundant protein on Earth. From there, the plant uses the ATP and NADPH it made earlier to power a series of chemical reactions. It's like a molecular assembly line, churning out these three carbon molecules. Some of these molecules go on to make glucose. That's the plant's main food source. The rest are recycled to keep the whole process going. So there you have it guys. Photosynthesis. Nature's way of turning sunlight into food. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Before we wrap up, make sure to hit that like button if you found this video interesting. Drop a comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to the Egypt Freak channel for more awesome science content. This is Ali signing off, and remember, stay curious and keep learning.